describe the tragedy that happened on March 24th. And unfortunately, um, I don't know that we will ever have a good answer for what happened. Um, it is tragic circumstances, especially um, today reading about, um, about uh, Chu Bang and uh, really what an impressive uh, young man he was. And um, I, the, the tragedy is, uh, is even deepened. I also want to just, uh, the President Ba and the members of the council, I want to say thank you for um, being uh, available to us when this happened. Um, one of the things that I think is a tremendous benefit and one of the things that I think is important is having the opportunity to connect with the community when things uh, happen either way, whether there are, are answers that, they, uh, that the community wants from us uh, or things that we can get information out to the community and uh, the council becomes a great vehicle for that and we're appreciative of your responsiveness and the council's willingness to meet right away and even to, to hold this uh, uh, tonight. Um, on March 24th, uh, we were called uh, right around uh, noon, uh, just before noon on this call. Uh, the report was that there was uh, a person shot inside of a home on County Road B in Maplewood. Uh, when officers arrived, um, some of the family members uh, were uh, brought out of the home. Um, and uh, after that, uh, the victim, um, Chu Wang, uh, and the suspect, his father, uh, Peng Bang, remained inside the home. Um, we were fortunate that day as a department. We have, uh, Maplewood has three uh, Hmong officers, and that was tremendously uh, helpful in terms of communicating with the family um, uh, of, uh, of both um, uh, the senior Bang, Peng Bang, and, uh, and the family members of, of Chu Bang. Um, and during the course of some conversations, ultimately, um, uh, officers went into the home. Uh, they removed uh, Chu Wang, who had suffered a fatal gunshot wound to the chest, um, and um, also uh, brought out uh, his father, uh, Peng Bang, who was taken to Regents Hospital. He was treated for injuries, um, and ultimately, the next day was uh, released and turned over to um, the uh, sheriff's office where he remains at this time um, in custody. Um, tragically, there is no win in that either. Uh, there, this is, uh, while, while what happened here is something that we will never understand, um, there's very little uh, to gain in terms of, of, of this outcome. We have a young man who lost his life and a father who uh, is ending up uh, locked up and that is not uh, represent anyone's interest. I guess if there was one thing that I would say is um, I, I, a message that on behalf of the city and certainly um, I, I, I want the, the community to know is that uh, the Maplewood Police Department and um, our, our surrounding uh, police departments all across uh, Inver Grove, St. Paul, uh, Roseville, um, we want to be a resource for people. We want to be available uh, for families who, who need some help, uh, especially when it's in when it's that crisis time, call on us. Um, many of our departments now uh, have uh, Hmong officers uh, that are available to us. Uh, oftentimes, around the clock, and we can get them in. And we know how important that communication stuff is, and we uh, we will access and get those people in, and uh, they can be tremendously helpful. Even on this particular day. We made a, we, even though two of our monks, our Hmong officers were on, we called St. Paul and we had a, a, another Hmong officer there in, in minutes. So that's the kind of availability we have that we want people to know that always um, the police department, whether it's Maplewood, St. Paul, Ember Grove, Roseville, that we are a resource and we want to be uh, there to help. We want to help try and do anything and everything we can to avoid a tragedy um, like occurred on March 24th. So again, I, I would just say that um, I, I'm grateful and thankful for the opportunity to be here. I would ask that, um, that people feel comfortable in, in calling us if there's something we can do in that uh, moment of crisis. Um, I would ask that, that if families have uh, family members who are, are um, uh, in a place where they are not doing well, 
that they access resources in the community that might be uh, useful uh, or helpful, whether that's counseling, or therapists, or, or mental health services, uh, whatever it may be, um, that, uh, and, and that we certainly would be available to assist in that. And, uh, and finally, again, I just would offer my uh, condolences to the entire Vang family on behalf of our city um, for the loss of, of Chu Vang. Uh, thank you for, for the opportunity.